The Twin Valley Locker Room Show takes you inside of Clay Center Tiger cheerleading as we're joined by the seniors on this year's team. Big crew, by the way. Three four-year cheerleaders and Rachel Jones, who's the captain, Shina Brandhorst, Nadine Cowling, second year for Mia Christensen and Jay Pageant, and first year for Aspen Gerard and Sydney Rosenau. First off, thank you guys for doing this. Mia, since you have the mic, we'll start on this end. Give us a look into what the year for you guys has been like in this strange, strange year that we're in. You guys are busy all the time, but it's been really wacky this year. Um, this year has been a lot of challenges. We didn't get to stunt the first couple of games. And finally, after many months of not getting to stunt, Mr. Ferguson finally gave us the go. And other than that, we've been trying our hardest to be safe on the sidelines and not get tumbled by anyone or spread anything. Gotcha. Now, I uh, have been doing this with all the groups. Tell us who your parents are, and if you have plans, what they might be next year. So. Um, so my parents are Deb, Christ or Deb Kramer and Adam Christensen, and next year I plan to go to Cloud County Community College and dance for the T-Birds. Awesome. Very good. So First, I introduce yourself, your parents, and then we'll, we'll go from there. I'm Sydney Rosenau. My parents are Darren and Tara Rosenau. And next year I plan on attending Kansas State University. Uh, my name is Rachel Jones. My parents are John and Janelle Jones. And I plan to go to Cloud to study criminal justice. Great. My name is Aspen Gerard. And my parents are Joshua and Stacy Gerard. And I plan on attending Cloud County Community College to major in elementary education. Super. My name is Cheyenne Brandhorst. My parents are Lisa Brandhorst and Jacob Cranmer. Um, I am going to Ottawa University to cheer and study sociology. My name is Jay Paget. My mom is Renee Lingvart and dad is Marty Paget. I plan on going to Wichita State University majoring in criminal justice. My name is Nadine Cowling and my parents are Brandy and Aaron Cowling. Next year, I plan on becoming a full-time CNA and then work on getting my CMA license. Okay, great. Great plans for everybody. Good luck with, uh, with what's in store. Nadine, since you have the mic, we'll stay on this end. Mia talked about getting to finally do stunts. As a cheerleader that's been around big crowds since you've been a participant of cheerleading for so long, what was it like first with, I mean, it was, when I came to broadcast games, it was weird because everybody I know could hear me. What was it like for you guys trying to be out there and nobody to respond to you. It was very, very awkward at first because we had no crowd to do anything with us. So we didn't really know what to do for crowd cheers or anything. So it was super quiet and no one would participate. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the basketball girls, when they were done, they would help participate in it in the band would. So. Yeah, very true. Jay, kind of the same thoughts on that. I guess let's talk a little bit about when you finally got a couple of parents in and at least there was someone in the stands. What, what did that feel like? It was really good having a crowd because we could have more people participating and just not like staring at the bleachers empty. So Cheyenne, I'll have you comment then when they allowed four parents in. But they still had to be parents and guardians, but at least again, the, the gym was filling up a little bit more. Right. Um, it was very nice to feel comfortable again in our own home gym and cheer for the parents that have been supporting us all four years because it's just a little odd cheering to nobody and just bleachers <laughs> and it just felt really comfortable. Aspen and Rachel, I'll let you both comment on this because you finally got students into the stands and I, it was, it was, it was great for me to see and I could feel the emotion of just having them back. I can't imagine is you guys getting your your, your friends back in the stands for the first time. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it was definitely hard not having them there because we got them for football and then for basketball they were just kind of gone and you could see the excitement that came from them when they finally got to be there. Rachel, first time that, uh, that those stands were full and it, it looked kind of normal. Uh, it was really nice and we actually got to do some of the crowd cheers with the student sections, which they always love. Uh, yeah, the first game was really good. Since you're talking cheers, we'll go back over to Mia. And I'm going to have each of you give a favorite cheer. It could be the same one as the others. Or if it's not a favorite cheer that you do, a uh, favorite stunt. Ooh. While cheerleading. Um, 
My favorite stunt, I think, would have to be a round off reload, because I get to do a lot of bouncing in that one behind <laughs> Rachel and just make sure she doesn't fall. Because <laughs> if I fail, then we all fail on that one. <laughs> And Rachel, you trust her, I take it, then, uh, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Sydney, you have a favorite? I just really like all the stunts that we do. With this being my first year, it's all really new to me and stuff. But trying new things and learning all the new stunts is awesome, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, Rachel? Okay, so I don't really have, like, a favorite stunt, but I like stunting in general because like, uh -huh. we learn to trust each other. Because like, if you don't trust each other, it just doesn't work out. So pretty much all the stunts. Good. Um... Mine would probably be the eight count dance, which I hated it at first because it was not very easy for me to learn, but now it's actually become one of my favorites. Good. Um, I love all the stunts. I've had many different bases alongside with me throughout the years, and this year I got to base with Sydney, and it was a really good experience having someone who's so strong right next to me. Cool. I would say I like all the cheers, but Tigers Get Tough is up there. <laughs> All right. Great. Um, I don't really have a favorite cheer. I like all of them, but I would say my favorite stunt would probably be stair step. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you go back down the row and just share a favorite moment, funny moment. It doesn't have to be this year. Thinking of, they're all chuckling already. So. <laughs> Nadine, do you have a favorite memory at all or a, uh, something that you want to share or that you can share, I guess? <laughs> And you can say pass if it comes down to that. I, I don't really have a favorite moment. I kind of like all of them. Like, I never really talked to any of them in middle school, and then we got on the cheer team, and I came, like, became really good friends with them and learned to trust them. Like, I've faced Rachel before. I've, I've been a base and a back, and so I've got experience with a lot of that stuff. So I like every single moment I have with them. That's great. So. Good answer. Uh, my favorite memory would probably be rooming with Cheyenne at camp and waking up late. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, I wouldn't say this is my favorite thing that's happened to me, but uh, we were cheering to a crowd and I was on my way off the court <laughs> and a ref was running behind me, uh, stuck his tooth in my head <laughs> as I'm coming off. Then I earned the nickname Toothy for the rest of the year. <laughs> Uh, mine would probably be the road trips that we have, but my absolute favorite one was when we spent the whole ride, I can't remember where we were going, Hillsboro, yeah, and we played heads up the whole entire way, and all of us were just dying laughing <laughs> the whole way. It was pretty good. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so mine was when we went to camp and we stayed overnight, <laughs> and um, we all showered in in Cheyenne's room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite moment either, but back to what Nadine said about being close, like learning to be close with all these girls is, I mean, I don't think I was as close as I am with these girls at all until this year, and it's awesome to have new friends and like know each other so much better. Because I just love them. They're just so nice. <laughs> I think I have. I think I have two favorite memories. Um, one practice I flew, and that was fun. Um, Sydney, Shannon, and Rachel were all my bases. It was really good. And then another time, Rachel and I both had a really good blonde moment at camp, and we decided to turn around and look what our ribbon was before anybody else. And Janelle caught it on camera, and it is such a funny video to watch. <laughs> well, great memories. I know you guys have plenty more you could share amongst yourselves and not with everyone else in the world. I can appreciate that. I will say this about this group and the Tiger cheerleaders in general. You guys are as hard a working group as anyone in this school, and I think it goes not unnoticed, but unknown, I think, by a lot of people. Um, so from me and from the fans and from the students, thank you for the time you put in. I, literally, I'm at a lot of sporting events, and you guys are at more than I'm at. So <laughs> I know how busy you guys are, and thanks for sticking it out and, and being such a big part of, of the Tiger family. Our Tiger cheerleaders on the Twin Valley Locker Room Show.